protected MTB in human remains uh, from uh, atletium and uh, also from Egyptian uh, mummies. According to this figure, it shows that the phylogenetic scenario for MTB complex, uh, all members of mycobacterium tuberculosis had descended from one common ancestor, and then due to a uh, numerous sequence polymorphism and unidirectional uh, deletion, uh, accumulation deletion, uh, these members are uh, uh, differentiated into different lineages and uh, different species and subspecies. Uh, TB is a leading uh, picture scholar as one third of the world population is infected with TB, but only 10% of the infected people may develop the disease later in their lives. And 9 million new cases, 2 million deaths each year. Each year there, ha there are half million cases of multidrug resistance strain and 50,000 uh, of uh, extensively uh, drug resistance. Um, the West Bank is a very low TB burden uh, country. The incidence uh, rate uh, only 1.9 per uh, 100k individuals. And uh, according to this figure, uh, actually this is according to the Palestinian Ministry of Health records, uh, the cases uh, uh, in the West Bank from uh, two f uh, 2004 to uh, March 2015 is ranges from uh, f uh, two to nine uh, per year, and these cases uh, were confirmed by uh, either by microscopy or uh, culture. Um, so the, the circulating uh, pathogens of MTB in our area was uh, uh, identified by uh, molecular technique in our uh, re uh, research laboratory at Al Quds by using real time PCR. But recently, the ministry, the Palestinian Ministry of Health used the hand test for uh, differentiated. So the, uh, the circulating uh, pathogen or the causative pathogen of uh, pulmonary TB, mainly uh, mycobacterium tuberculosis, uh, except of two cases uh, caused by embovis, but actually these person were suffering from uh, uh, immunodeficiency. Uh, but uh, in, the, in, the last, in the last two years, if something is, okay. In the last uh, two years, the, um, the, the pathogens, we have noticed the emergence of non-environmental, uh, uh, of non-tuberculous uh, mycobacterium, the environmental bacterium in, uh, intracellular. So uh, wha what about bovine TB in the West Bank? Actually, we investigated in a study that conducted in 2012, we investigated 254 animals. And we found that 3% of them were positive for TB uh, uh, using PCR. <coughs> um, we all know that uh, TB is an emergence, uh, an emergent disease. Uh, so, uh, for better understanding for, for, uh, of uh, evolutionary uh, process, uh, we thought that uh, our, ob our objective was to investigate uh, the presence of TB in uh, ancient bone samples excavated from Tel Sultan ancient uh, Jericho. So we already have the modern stuff, so we thought that we can compare the genetic profile uh, with the from samples ancient and uh, modern. For that, we excavated the uh, Jericho, but why Jericho? Because it's the oldest continuously occupied city in the world. It uh, also offers a unique uh, chance to observe the complete habitation record from the Neolithic period uh, to the end of the urban city uh, in the Middle Bronze uh, Age. The excavation was conducted in 2010. Uh, the excavation conducted by Dr. Isa Srea and his team from Al Quds University. Uh, he's an archaeologist. He excavated two separate areas, area one and area two. In uh, area one, uh, he found a shaft or a tomb of Middle Bronze Age and uh, he found one adult uh, femur shaft there in this place. And uh, in area two, there was a, a trench uh, dug by a local uh, to build a wall around his uh, house. And uh, Isa and his colleagues excavated this trench and they found a juvenile male barrel, the little uh, pottery uh, fragment dated that to uh, EB4. And they also they closed this site, and the, the local allowed them to dig his uh, land, and they did. 
they found a family barrel of uh, dolman type and they found three skeletons, two adults and one uh, juvenile uh, fe uh, female. They took samples, uh, soil and uh, other uh, stuff. Uh, this picture showed the, from the excavation uh, site. This is Isa himself and the way how they collect the samples. And also, I think they, this is for the, the female. And uh, they found also animal uh, bone and more samples. And then the samples transferred in sterile tube or in plastic bags from directly from the field to the lab. And uh, we uh, washed the samples with uh, distilled water and dried at 37 degree, and then uh, proceed for uh, DNA extraction. Uh, and also we actually took all the precautions against uh, contamination, um, sterilization, uh, separate rooms. Uh, then we uh, detect the tuberculosis by uh, targeting the IS-6110, which is a multi-copy sequence. And uh, f for that, it's uh, considered a preferred target for ancient DNA diagnosis. And we found uh, one positive uh, sample here. It's uh, from uh, rib obtained from the uh, adult uh, male, according to the archaeologists. Um, and then we um, confirmed the specificity of the amplified product by digestion of the PCR product with H3, according to uh, the study described by Zenk et al. in 2001, and also the expected uh, band were uh, observed. Uh, then we uh, used uh, a nested PCR. Actually, we used uh, this uh, PCR for two reasons. First, to increase the likelihood for detection of more positives, but we didn't uh, detect more positive. And also to identify the identity of the amplified product uh, by sequencing. For that, we excised these bands from the gel, purified and inserted into a vector, and then transferred into E. coli extracted and uh, sent for sequencing. Uh, we picked several clones, at least uh, three to five clones. And in the first one, the, the sequence analysis, as you see here, showed 100% homology with the reference strain in the uh, gene bank. But in the uh, other clone, we found uh, a polymorphism, G to A polymorphism in this uh, sequence. And actually, I don't know how much significant this uh, uh, polymorphism. Uh, then we uh, analyzed the sample by spologotyping uh, because we, we want to know if this sample is uh, similar to MTB or M uh, Africanum or M bovis. We uh, should know that by using uh, spologotyping. I'm not going to talk about the, the uh, technique in uh, details. A few words that this technique depends on the amplification of DR region or dike repeat region. And this region consists of a highly conserved sequence uh, interspersed with, uh, with the spacers, and these spacers uh, are variable among in their number, in their sequence, among the different strains, so it can be used to characterize the, uh, the strains. Uh, so that's what we, ha we got. This is the uh, real uh, film of uh, spologotyping, and the, the pattern did not show or, or did not uh, correspond to any existing TB pattern in the, in the database. And actually, uh, multiple extracts from the same sample showed uh, different uh, patterns. So the pattern is uh, inconsistent with each other. Uh, then we um, used the microlate analysis. Uh, actually, uh, many researchers uh, recommend the use of uh, other technique, other uh, biomarker for uh, confirmation the results of ADNA. Uh, in, in physically separated laboratory, different personnel. For that, uh, we did exactly. Uh, we sent the sample to Professor Minikan uh, at UK, and uh, he did the microlate uh, analysis, and he confirmed our results that the samples have MTB. But actually, I don't, know, I, do not, I don't know much about this technique, what, but I really know that uh, the, the technique depends on the uh, mycolic acid, which is a long fatty acid present in the cell wall of mycobacterium. And uh, according to this mycolate, they uh, can produce a, a profile on HPLC. 
So these, these profiles are different among the species. So for any unknown samples, it can be uh, classified and quantified according to uh, the profile compared with standard uh, samples. Also, we uh, try to uh, radiocarbon uh, dating the sample, but unfortunately, uh, no collagen was preserved. And we sent the sample to Weizmann Institute through, uh, through Dr. Marina. And uh, we got this uh, message. In conclusion, the MTB DNA was detected in a human remain from ancient Jericho and confirmed by lipid biomarkers. And uh, also, we are still waiting for the metagenomic sequence because we sent the sample uh, also through Professor Spiegelman to uh, Dr. Uh, uh, Poina. And we are still uh, waiting for the results to do the comparative uh, study with uh, other uh, ancient and modern stuff. Um, finally, I'd like to thank all these people uh, at Al-Quds University and the Hebrew University and from people in the Palestinian Ministry of Health, the collaborator, and also the fund by DFK. And thank you all. Sorry? Do you see any morphological signs for supercomputers? Uh, um, actually, I'm, I'm a molecular biologist, okay. but my colleague, he's an archaeologist, and he said there's no morphological signs on the bones. I have a question. How common is it actually to take also a soil sample? Because, I mean, from our metagenomic analysis that we have done over the last few years, we see that in every bone, actually, that I think we've ever looked at, we have mycobacteria. It's one of the most common soil bacteria. Yeah. And like I said before, there are hundreds of species that are not sequenced, they're not yeah. in databases. Yeah. They all have mycolic acids. We don't know how their mycolic acids look like, so we yeah. have very little information about them. So it would be nice somehow to sometimes also look at soil and just yeah, see how actually, soil yeah. looks like yeah, next yeah. to the bone or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Actually, yeah. We collected the soil sample, and also we sent them to uh, Professor Minikan. And also we send the negative, uh, negative uh, bones and, uh, for analysis, yes, and we, we are aware for that. Mm. But they all, it's also n all of them are negatives, yes. Okay. There. No more questions? Yep. Thank break. you.